Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Bath & Body Works walkthrough. We're going to look at all of the new stuff, all of the great um, candles that just came out, the award-winning candles and things like that. So we're going to check out everything, the new faceted collection, and just have a good look around and see if we're missing anything. This is probably going to be like the last set of stuff that comes out for fall. And then believe it or not, they're getting ready for Christmas already. They've been teasing stuff on the app if you don't already have it. Um, so yeah, Christmas is coming soon. So this would be like the last hoorah of fall and they'll probably end up having the same thing that they did last year, like a 50% off fall sale um, near the end of October, like mid to late October. So just so you guys know, that's kind of what's coming up soon. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop on in at Bath & Body Works and see what they've got. So we are heading in. I've never actually been to this store, but it was so well organized. So right at the front, they had all the new candles. So they had the like best collection of candles that blueberry cotton candy was super sugary sweet not my favorite scent but this texas pecan pie was delicious very caramel heavy though i will say um, and then of course pumpkin apple pumpkin cinnamon bun which is absolutely delicious as well and the pumpkin snickerdoodle which also smells amazing and then along the back they had some single wicks and some really pretty wallflower plugs for fall the little truck is always adorable in my opinion so stinking cute i love that they're all scent control ones now as well and they did have a few of the little wallflower bulbs and pumpkin snickerdoodle pumpkin cinnamon bun and some more single wicks so i did also find the new fall and bloom collection here and i did smell it honestly to me uh, the candle was super floral heavy, but the spray was more plum heavy than anything. Um, and it was still floral, but honestly not super offending. And that's coming from someone who doesn't usually like florals. So yeah, I did actually enjoy this collection. I think if anything, I would get it in like a shower gel, but I probably would stay away just because I'm not the biggest floral fan. But if you guys are and you want to try it, totally go and smell it. So they did also bring out the pumpkin pecan waffle scent again this year. Um, they just brought back the other two pumpkin scents, so pumpkin pecan waffles and sweet cinnamon pumpkin for fall. They usually bring it out later in fall anyways, but I did notice they had the body mousse in pumpkin pecan waffles. They have it in literally every single form, which I thought was awesome. They also have champagne apple and honey and a little lip balm. A little expensive, it was $10.50, but still super cute. And then of course, strawberry pound cake is also back. Amazing, amazing scent. And this cute little owl bag. They always come out with the cutest little bags for fall. I just think they're the cutest. They have some Halloween ones too. And then they did also have the marshmallow pumpkin latte in the little lip balm. And then here's just a random little section. They had a lot of gingham love at my store. And they had this really cute little gift set for fall in pumpkin apple and the hand soap and in the single wick. I believe it was like $14.95 or something. Um, or $18.95. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then we have warm vanilla sugar back again. I wish they would bring back out the perfume in that, but they probably won't ever do that. But then we also have midnight amber glow, which I am starting to love this scent. They also have another little gift set right here for that one. And that is $14.95. I think that'd be a great gift for somebody, you know, and this scent honestly is like a very good universal scent. Um, I thought it was really cool. They have the Glotion in this form and the body scrub looked gorgeous. It's a creamy body scrub, which is a formula I have not tried before. So I'm curious about that one. And then some of the men's body care was super neatly organized. And then we do have the, um, what's this collection called again? I forgot, but Sweet Whiskey is back. Um, if you guys liked that one last year, I did enjoy it. I had it in a body scrub and it was really nice. So a mini might be good, might be coming home with me for that one. Uh, White Pumpkin and Chai is also back. I love this one. I already have a body lotion from last year that I'm definitely using in October. And then of course, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin and Champagne Toast. And then I did just want to show you guys the Halloween collection, but honestly, like I said before, it'll probably be on sale come mid-October. So maybe don't buy it now unless they have a really good body care deal that is less than half off. So, And then we do have tons of Halloween stuff. They definitely restocked almost every Halloween accessory. They had the pedestals. They had the little lanyards. They had almost all of the Halloween stuff except for like the hand and the most coveted things, you know. 
but they definitely had restocked. So my store was full of amazing goodies and they had little gift sets and awesome little minis and this cute little bat, which is like a hand sanitizer slash mini spray holder. And he's just so adorable. So super cute for anyone you know, or maybe a kid in your family, you want to pick him up something cute for Halloween. And the lip glosses again, I'm still looking at those, but I can almost guarantee they'll make it to SAS. So just hold out for that if, you, if you're looking at them, but don't want to spend the price. And that was the last little Apple witch hand holder. That was the only witch hand thing that I saw in the store that day. And they do, again, have the spooky berry little um, bat bombs. So super cute. And then we do have a few new car vent clips. So they had this gorgeous little moon. And then this rain cloud is not new, but I didn't know that those two went together. They're definitely from the same collection. And then I found this beautiful pumpkin scent holder. Gorgeous. And I also found this cute little owl. So if you're obsessed with owls, there's one for you. But I found this cute little lab um, wallflower plugin, and I could not find it anywhere in the store. Um, so if that's online, let me know, guys. That's the first time I've ever seen that one. But they do have the pumpkin stack, which is super cute. We've seen that before, though. Um, this gorgeous lantern with a pumpkin in it. I think that's beautiful. And then they also have, of course, the little pink velvet pumpkin with the butterfly on it. Oh, and the little Halloween guy. He just snuck himself in there. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you guys know where to find that little lab plugin because she's so stinking cute and I really want her. And then they did have the weekly candle drop. This week was the salted caramel pretzel. And I believe next week will be the stuffing, Thanksgiving stuffing or something or this week, the week that the video comes out. Um, but they also had all the other collection ones at my store. So they had Sweater Weather, Sweater Weather X Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. That one smelled all right. I couldn't really get a good read on it when I was sniffing it in the store. The candied maple bacon smells just like bacon. Like it's kind of crazy. It smells like bacon strips. If you've ever heard or smelled the like dog treat bacon tri bacon strips, that's what it smells like. And then chocolate espresso martini was divine. I'm definitely going to go back to that store and pick it up at the next candle sale because it smelled beautiful. Like chef's kiss, that one smelled so delicious. So totally recommend that one. I hope it has a good throw. And then I did find the little um, fall fair collection, I think is what it's called. Um, they had pretty much a bunch of different scents in this one. They also had autumn chai, which usually is only a, a online scent. They don't come out with chai scents very often. But I always try and pick it up, even though I know it'll be super light. I don't really care. I just love chai scents. I love chai tea. And I just definitely am going to pick that up later in the season. And then we did find some new little pocket backs. There's this new collection with this. Um, here it is, the little umbrella with autumn rainfall. Super cute. I like that packaging on there. We've got pumpkin cupcake back again. And going around to the other side, we have some strawberry pound cake, which that one's been there for a little bit. We've got more pumpkin cupcake in a different um, collection, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, or that was pumpkin pecan waffles. That actually might be the first year it's been in a pocket bag, so that's kind of fun. Um, and then some Halloween ones in Ghoul Friend. And look at the little pizza, so cute. And again, our little lanyard jack-o'-lantern buddy. And then a little bat and his wings uh, move when you press this little button. Super cute. So I love that they did more Halloween pocket bag holders this year. I think it's so cute and adorable. And then more fall scents. And I did actually find the Into the Night and In the Stars also in pocket bags. All right, guys, we are back in the car. And as you saw, they had a ton of stuff in there. They had all of the weekly candle drop stuff. So I think the next time there's a sale, I'm gonna go in there and snatch all those up just for the sake of collecting them, honestly, because they don't sound that great. The Sweater Weather one surprised me. I think that one smells the best. The Sweater Weather X Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin and the um, Espresso Martini. Oh, that one smells so good. So I think I would definitely pick those up at the next candle sale, I'll come back to this location and um, pick them up because I can't believe they had all of them still. Um, but I did get a pickup order, so I'll go ahead and share with you guys what I picked up because I don't wanna make a full haul out of it. It's pretty small. So they were still having the $6.95 single wig sale and I had a 20% off coupon that from yesterday that they gave out to all the app members. So I believe this was like 540 or something per candle. So I got mahogany apple and these are all for Ryan everything that I bought is for Ryan. So mahogany apple, 
is red mahogany golden delicious apple pink peppercorn fresh lavender sprigs this one he loves it i love it it smells like uh draco malfoy according to tiktok so we loved this one last year i bought him a three wick so i bought him a single wick to use in his um office and then i also got him a lakeside morning the notes on this are crisp autumn air white driftwood a hint of green apple this one, um, I remember him saying he loved last year when I made him like sniff all the fall candles. Um, so I did pick up this one for him. I would have picked up um, vanilla balsam. Is that what it is? Or vanilla, vanilla burt? No, not vanilla bourbon. Vanilla, I can't think of what it is. Mahogany vanilla, that's what it is. Um, but they didn't have it in stock. So I did pick up Lakeside Morning. And then I picked up two shower gels because I had two free coupons from the app. So I picked up Sweater Weather for him. This is a staple. My brother loved this, loves this one. I kind of miss the smell of it, honestly. Um, so we did pick up this one. And then I also picked up Leather and Brandy for him. He loved this one when we smelled it in stores last time. The notes are... Oh, it doesn't really say. It's, just, it's like a description. Deep fragrance with a hint of spice, inspired by the comfort of a leather chair and the warmth of brandy. It smells delicious. So it smells super high class. And then sweater weather, I didn't say the notes. Um, this is sun crisp apple, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. It really does smell. I would say it is definitely like a more masculine leaning scent, but totally unisex. And it smells just like you're going on a crisp walk in autumn. That's what it smells like. It smells so good. So very excited for him to have those ones and be smelling good. But yeah, that's it for like the little mini haul and the walkthrough. Just a reminder guys, everything's going to be 50% off soon. So if you are considering buying some things, um, I would wait uh, if it's a better price, 50% off than whatever the deal is coming up. So yeah, I would wait to buy things in like from now until mid-October because they're going to do the fall 50% off sales. So um, unless it's something that's like unique, like those candle drops, I would say hold off on purchasing for now because they're just going to have it all 50% off. So yeah. Anyways, that is everything for this week's video. Anyways, that is everything for this walkthrough slash haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below. Um, have you picked up any of the candle drop candles lately? Have you smelled them? Did you smell the bacon one? what did you think <laughs> let me know down below but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed if you didn't like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you all in my next video bye